So it's like a Barney song, you know, I'm like you and you're like me, or I love you, you love me, you know, all, all this kind of stuff. That Another question, what about Jesus? How can he be the son of God if other divine sons of God are real? And what about, you know, John 10, 34, where Jesus, you know, quotes Psalm 82, 6. Of course, you know, if you, this, this, I believe, was in the optional uh, reading and, and listening. We did a, I did a whole podcast episode on Jesus' quotation of Psalm 82, verse 6 in John 10, 34. The predominant view, again, because people think that the gods of Psalm 82 are just people, basically has Jesus, right after he said in John 10, 30, I and the Father are one, now he, said, he quotes Psalm 82 to say, hey, put down the stones, guys. Don't be mad at me because we're all, you know, we're, we're all mortals. We're all sons of God. We're all children of God. So, so it's like a Barney song. You know, I'm like you and you're like me or I love you, you love me. You know, all, all this kind of stuff that, that we're all just one big happy family. See, Psalm 82 says that you get to call yourselves the sons of God, just like I do. So don't be mad. Okay, that undermines the deity claim of John 10.30. And a few verses later, verses 37, 38, Jesus is going to say, I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me. So he hasn't backed off at all of saying, I and the Father are one. And he doesn't undermine verse, what he says in verse 30 and what he says in verses 37 and 38. He doesn't undermine it with what he does in verse 34. So my view is the complete reverse of this. I think he ups the ante and teaches them an, an exegetical lesson when he quotes Psalm 82. And to find out what that is, you're gonna to have to either do the extra reading or listen to the episode of the podcast. I also on the podcast page have a narrated PowerPoint when I go through a whole presentation on this.